It's very important and very appealing to me, the idea of managing document and fiction in a borderline that they share, actually. When I worked with Archive in the Tropical Hangover, it was important to take a, a historical archive and put together with text that uh, a diary that was found in garbage by a friend of mine, together with my own photographs, and place them in a way not completely categorized so that people would have to question themselves if that text was written by me, if that text is historical as the pictures, or even the snapshots, personal snapshots that I also included, they were in relation to those historical pictures making themselves also historical. So I enjoy a lot what it stages to the audience. Another project that it's called the 40 Black Candies for one real. Real is our currency. And the black candy is a candy made of, of banana. And they are sold with this slogan, 40 Black Candies for one real. And it starts being a sort of a formula where 40 characters work in a fictional factory for making the candy. And stories of these labor connections with the owner and the employee I've uh, collected uh, 40 stories of today and adapted and fictionalized them to the, to the work, to the project. Something that I feel it's important to do, to put in perspective the idea of history writing, which is so much connected to ideology and to a decision, which are connected mostly to power and to governments, etc. But also, what is fiction, what is not? And I've been developing another projects like a horse race that I organized in downtown Recife, the city I live in the Northeast. The idea of the horse race was to create a situation that a film was being shot so that scene of the horse race could be understood as a fiction. Being a fiction, I could have the permit to shoot in the streets. So that was how the, the project happened because understood as art, it was possible understood as daily life, it was not. So in this boundary, it was a negotiation between me and the mayor, and with the carters, I've given pamphlets. So they responded to the pamphlets. It was not something announced in the internet or newspaper. Around 50 of them showed up, and the, the work happened. For me, the mechanism of uh, negotiating with the administration of the city it was something that was interesting because it had to do so much on how bureaucracy and the manipulation of law decides who is in charge of what, what is the limit or what is the borderline of being an outcast in society, which makes the idea of law completely, explicitly class-based. So I think the project is also speaking about this issue, about the characters. They are being prohibited by the city to be going around where they are so part of the, the local landscape. And they make their living out of the horse, of the transportation of goods. By law, they are invisible. And a lot of issues that are happening in Brazil, cities are being totally gentrified and socially cleaned up in a very heavy way. So those things, they are so much of what my research is about. And uh, I think it's strongly connected with this piece shown in the Guggenheim. Mm -hmm.